Hello, it's Graham Whitehead. Um, for those who haven't seen my previous videos on the Purium 10 day transformation, um, a little um, track back. Um, I've been doing the Purium 10 day transformation. Um, this is day eight for me. I did an introductory video and then I then did a day two and a day three video. So now I'm doing a day four, um, five, six, seven, and eight, which is today. I'm on the eighth day today. Um, I'm feeling really good, clear-minded, clean, um, lean, mean, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have upped my foods purely because um, I lost, I feel, what was a little bit too much weight. I was trying to go with the approach of, oh, I don't need any flex foods, I'm going to be stubborn and stick this out, but you do, you do need your flex foods, and I have upped them because my intentions, as I alluded to in the introduction, were not necessarily to lose um, a lot of body weight, it was more to clear up my skin, give my digestive system a rest, etc, etc. Um, so I have upped my foods a little bit, and I still feel quite similar, good energy levels. Um, I was speaking to um, Pete Milner on Facebook, he summed it up quite well for me. And what it is on this 10 day transformation is, you do miss the act of mastication, which is basically um, chewing. So because you're having liquids all the time, you really miss that kind of act. Um, and that's what I alluded to, I believe, in the second video where I said, I'm not feeling hungry, but I'm missing eating something whole. So Pete summed that up well for me, so thank you. They were the words that I was probably af um, looking for at the time, but they didn't come out. Um, exercise, I've been um, doing a few zone exercises, so energy accumulation exercises, which some of you may not be familiar with, but if you'd like more information on that, just simply purchase um, the book, How to Eat, Move and Be Healthy by Paul Check. Um, there's a good section on there on um, zone exercises and the benefits that they can offer you. Um, but in summary, zone exercises are energy accumulation exercises. So you're not going for a run or playing a sport that you like to do by expending energy, you're actually accumulating energy, getting energy into the body. Um, I've done a couple of runs which I felt a bit sluggish after um, but then I felt naturally to up my foods a little bit then which you naturally would because if you're breaking down muscle tissue it does need to be replenished um, I have upped my amino acids to over 20, just 24 a day now um, I take, that, uh, um, take the amino acids in the morning, I take 8 in the morning and then mid-morning around 10, 11 o'clock, I'll take another eight, and then around two o'clock, um, I'll take another eight as well. Um, that'll all differ depending on your personal schedule, but for me, that's what I'm uh, tending to do. Um, I have played five-a-side as well. I was playing five-a-side last night, a bit of football. Um, felt okay with that. Um, Again, before I played, I did up my foods as well. I've had more, a, a tiny little meal. I've been having a few um, soups, things that are easily, um, well, easier digested, basically. Um, and one of the products I'd like to speak about is the Love Shake. That's this one here. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> there we go. Good. Right, um, this is your meal replacement. Um, it's got all the greens, all the veggies, and it's got some of the grasses as well, which I particularly want to speak about. So this Love Shake contains um, wheatgrass and various other grasses. So wheatgrass, I presume you've maybe seen them at um, juice bars and stuff like that. Um, as liquid sunshine. Um, I've done a little bit of research on wheatgrass just to find out the whole benefits um, so some of the benefits are that it's full of all your vitamins and minerals and your enzymes it's got um, high in vitamin A, high in vitamin C um, it's got all your B vitamins it's great for immunity, pulling heavy metals out of the body, toxicity um, detoxification and what I didn't realize maybe I'm being stupid here but uh, it's actually a complete protein, so a complete source of protein, which you didn't know. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but um, my research has maybe led me to believe that it is a, a complete source of protein. 
Um, now the process of what actually happens, which is interesting, is um, basically with any of your green kind of plants or grasses, what happens is the sun, through the process of photosynthesis, is the sun um, shines on to these plants and then produces, um, so it takes on board that energy from the sun um, and it produces what they call um, chlorophyll, which is found in wheatgrass typically. Um, and that trans that chlorophyll, once it gets into your body, it essentially gives you some of the energy of the sun. I mean, who wouldn't want the energy of the sun? We'd all like a bit of that, wouldn't we? Um, so, by getting the energy of the sun, it increases um, your energy. Believe it or not, very simple. Um, it'll increase your mineral content as well. Um, and what you've also got is it actually improves or increases your red blood cell count so the amount of oxygen going through your body increases so you may find that what if you're playing a sport or doing any kind of weightlifting that, that increases your energy and your ability to transport more oxygen around the body um, so it's quite an interesting uh, concept but it's all um, kind of been pre-scripted in nature um, and a lot of my beliefs are around that. Everything was already um, kind of given to us. It's just how we act upon these things. Um, whether we choose to destroy these things or whether we choose to be ignorant to these things. Um, the wheatgrass for me has worked. And all the other, all the other products and the, the veggies, particularly in the, um, in the Love Shake, has um, really given me a... Um, vibrant energy you can feel the vibrations through the through the wheatgrass and essentially I'm getting the liquid sunshine um, feel the vibrations coming through I feel really clear-minded and you feel a sense of direction you're at peace with your inner self and that's something um, I've maybe not experienced before on such um, low calories but high deep nutrition and that's the thing with these products which I've discussed in the previous video low calories um, but super high in nutrition um, so I recommend if you're gonna go to a juice bar or whatever you do get a shot of wheatgrass give it a go and see how you feel after um, you feel great um, so my four fifth sixth seventh day eighth day have all been quite similar you do get some kind of lowish days on these and you miss chewing things which I've previously discussed um, but you do get these you do get these bouts of feeling good feeling clean feeling clear um, I'm really like proud of myself that I've done this um, I'm coming to the end I'm probably going to celebrate with a nice healthy meal um, I'm not going to be one of those that maybe goes up for a pizza and some chips or something like that I'm gonna gonna celebrate and continue to uh, eat healthy, the 80-20% rule, so 80% I'm eating um, good, organic, clean, free-range, grass-fed um, meat, etc, etc, and 20% of the time I'm going to treat myself um, to odd desserts that I feel are healthy, so raw chocolate, um, chocolate goji berries are one of my favourites, um, I suggest you try them, they're really good, um, and I think that's about it really. Um, don't know if there's anything, there may be things that I forgot that I've not told you, but um, after this video, I'll do one more video and it'll be my summary of what I actually think of this transformation and maybe things I could improve on if I did it again um, and maybe ways for Purium Platinum Europe to improve the product, to make it better for you. Right, I must go. See you later. Bye.